This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. We are going to try something a little bit different in today's video. And that is that everything that you're going to see on this video, bar maybe some phone footage, is going to be recorded on my 360 camera, which is what I'm using right now to film this. Obviously, it's all new. I don't know whether it's going to be any good. It might be rubbish. It might not be. You have to let me know. There is going to be potentially, well, most likely some camera movement. So, for example, now it's on me, then it's going to switch around and it's going to be facing the front. I don't know how fast to do that. So, should it be fast? Should it be like a cut? So like one minute it's facing me, the next minute it's facing the front, or should I do like visibly see the movement, or should I do it a lot slower? Do you know what I mean things like this? I need I need advice. I need help. <laughs> I need tips. Um, I want to try something new, so I thought I'd do a 360 video. Like I said, I may have some uh, phone footage later on in the day. I'm not sure yet. It might it might entirely be on the 360. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, you let me know. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. We're on our way to Bristol. I will talk to you a little bit more when we get there. See you in a bit. Okay, you join me less than one mile away. We are on Southmead Road. And um, I don't know if I said we're actually delivering to Travis Perkins in Southmead. It's a place that I have been to before, but I have not been here for a few years. Last time I come here, I was delivering bulk bags out of. Um, Henbury, which you know, recently we've been doing some of that Henbury work as well. But um, yeah, I've not actually been to this um, Travis Perkins for a while, but I have been here before. It is like literally down a housing estate. I think the first time I ever come here, I was like, this can't be real, <laughs> this can't be the place, but it is, it is the place. Um, it's also a little bit of a nightmare. If you turn up and there's other trucks in front of you, it can be an issue. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, there's no trucks now. It's half past eight in the morning. We were, my well, paperwork says deliveries after 9 a.m. So I phoned them up yesterday when I got loaded. Uh, oh, actually, was, was it before or after? I think it was before I was loaded. And uh, I just said, look, I've got a delivery for you tomorrow. What time do you take a delivery? Paperwork says nine o'clock, is that correct? He said, um, normally yes, but if I turn up from eight, they'll get me in when they can, is what they said. So I was aiming to get here for eight o'clock, but um, we've just been caught in quite a bit of traffic coming off the M4 on TM32. Don't know what was going on, but an ambulance went past, so something, something's happened, someone's injured. Hopefully they are okay. But it does mean that we got held up um, and delayed for half an hour, so not a lot you can do about that. Other than set off even earlier, I suppose. But then, but then I would have been turned up early. And like I said, it is literally in a housing estate. And you don't want to be upsetting people in housing estates by turning up too early. Thank you very much. So, I also remember being quite a sharp left hand turn. We need to be on the other side of the road to make it, if I remember correctly. And it's right next to a garage. The garage used to be yellow in colour. I do remember that. But, like I said, it's been a while. Last time I came here was four years ago. Okay. Yes. Where that car is coming out there is where we want to go, and yeah, it's still a yellow building look, so that's good. We're going to turn some beacons on, other side of the road. Well, this van is part of a bit of a city place. Don't suppose you know whose van that is. Oh, is he? Yeah, lovely. Thank you. I still can't make it, mate. My trailer wheels are going to hit the sign of... He is in there, but he ain't moving.
He's still in there, isn't he? He's still in there, isn't he? Huh? He is still in there, isn't he? Yeah, he's still in the van. Do you want me to ask him to move? Yeah, I can't get round. The trailer's going to hit the wall. I've got a pedestrian now on my left side. What a what are you doing? <laughs> this van does not want to move. I literally can't get down there. I'm a very large wrinkle. I literally couldn't get around that corner because that um, the van was there and then there was a part of it. Like I said, we are down in a housing estate. Should we really be down here? Well, that's a question for Travis Perkins. They're the ones who decided to uh, put a base down here. What can you say? Anyway, HCV drivers, stop here. Report to a member of staff, so that's what we're going to do. I do need to budge over to the left a bit more. Just so other trucks can get past me if need be. So it's gonna go back a bit. Get tight to the left. Let's go see someone. Yeah, like I was saying, it's um <laughs> it's in a housing estate. <laughs> I um I literally couldn't get around that corner without going further to the right. Okay then, so this is what we got. As you can see, H and H blocks, and uh, yeah, we're in a housing estate. Travis Perkins over there behind me, look, as you can see. Leave gap for this. Lovely. Right, let's go tell us when we're here. Mind our head. Good to have someone with here. Well, I've just been told to drive into the wood bay, which is to the left. Um, so that's what we're going to do, make our way back. And then, uh, yeah, walk into the, walk into the, drive into the wood bay. So let's go do that. I also need to charge this camera up, which is annoying. I thought it was already charged, but it turns out it was not. And there she is. Right, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we are now in position and we are being offloaded. Um, I've edited most of the footage, well, I've edited all the footage so far up to this point on my phone. And I can tell you this, it takes a little bit longer to edit 360 footage, but um, it's something different and I want to try it out. It's pretty cool. Um, and I wanted to experiment with like different ways of putting this camera, like I might see it I don't think it would work. I'm going to see if I can like angle it outside the window at all, but it might not work. Right, we are on the bed of the trailer. Obviously, this being Travis Perkins, we have to wear head gear. But um, yeah, we've just got to sweep up the bed now. Right, the tipped engine on. We've got to get back out of here now. Obviously, we struggled getting in. Hopefully, we can get out okay. Uh, we're going to Tetbury from here. So, it's going to put in a sat nav. Brilliant. Right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Hopefully we can get out in one piece. 
Oops. For me to touch you your arrive at your destination at 10.57. It looks a little bit like David Beckham. <laughs> a little bit. Well, I remember we might take this very wide to get round. There's the trailer again cuts in. Loads of room there. We should be right because on the way out we've got the big road we can take up a lot of the road if we have to whereas on the way in you know we had to we had to get take space up because of the um the angle we were at there wasn't an awful lot we could do yeah this is tight here look and there's a lorry on the corner I don't think we can actually get out there because there's a lorry unless it moves over to the side. Yeah, thank you. I was hoping he was going to do that when he did. Yeah, we're going to get out no problem at all. Opportunity to get out, it's clear to the left. And we should be able to make that if we go now. Lovely. And we're out. No, you just got a parking ticket. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, so yeah, that was interesting getting in. Getting out, not a problem. We got out, no problem. So that's good. Anyway, we're gonna head to Tetbury now, get loaded. I don't actually know where we're going. Even my boss never said, he just said, yeah, loading Tetbury. So we're crack on. Today is Thursday, and um, if there's any day I prefer to do a night out, it's on a Thursday, and that's purely because, obviously, tomorrow's Friday, and waking up in your bed on Friday morning, knowing you have to go to work in the morning is the worst thing ever. I would much rather stay out and wake up in my truck Friday morning and then, uh, yeah, go straight to work that way. It's always, always much nicer. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Hopefully you're enjoying these 360 videos. Let me know. See you in a bit. Right, we are in Tetbury and we are now being loaded. If we look over here... You can see we've got the bolt bags going on. We've got six here. There'll be six on the other side. Let's get them. Let's get them on, baby. Let's get them on. Right, we are loaded, as you can see. We've got bags for the second drop. we got others for the first drop. We should go to Dorking. So, pallets for the first drop. Bolt bags for the second drop. Let's get going. Hopefully we can get both off today, but it might be that the second one doesn't get off. But we'll see what we can do. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, we are about one mile away, just around the corner from where we need to be, and um, it is almost three o'clock in the afternoon. We're definitely only gonna get this one off today, and then we're gonna go park up. And do you know what? I probably am going to end the video there as well. What I have noticed whilst editing is that, uh, obviously I'm, I'm not wearing a microphone, so I do need to speak up in terms of volume that I'm speaking. There have been a couple of occasions where I've, I've put it outside, and carried on talking but obviously you can't hear me so I won't put it outside unless I'm outside with it that's the aim oh look at all that stuff that's cool 
and that's why I like the 360s because you could I can point at stuff like that whereas on a normal camera you won't be able to do that so there are benefits to using the 360 camera now we've got an arch bridge here we're gonna have to take up the entirety of this arch bridge to get through it lovely jubbly and I believe we've got 10 pallets for this for this store. So we're getting these off. It's going to a flower shop, um, flower and farm shop. So it's not going to be an awful lot of space. I have called them and um, they said, oh, so you're going to need a forklift. I hate it when they say, oh, so you're going to need a forklift. No, no, you're going to need a forklift because <laughs> if you don't have one, I'm not staying, I'm going. <laughs> I don't need a forklift. You do, it's your stuff. <laughs> Um, so it's funny when they say that. I said, I was like, yes, yes, please. I, I do not have the ability to take them off myself. So um, if you do have a forklift, that would be appreciative. Oh, it's a bit snug. Bit snug there. Right, I'm going to take a right-hand turn in a few hundred yards. And I think it's going to be quite tight in there as well, particularly if there's anyone coming out. And if these roads are anything to go by, then um, the entrance is going to be quite tight as well. That beep is saying that I'm very close to the left. widens out a little bit in a sec because it might be quite a tight right otherwise. That's pretty much in the road that. <coughs> Thank you. Okay we need to take a right. Which right? Not this right, the next right. Flower shop farm shop. Kingfisher. Jesus, it is tight. The trailer is going to cut in here. Yeah. This is very tight. So we're here, I'm just hoping someone comes over to me a bit because it's very tight in here for space. Yeah, that was very tight coming in. I'm pretty sure, I'm gonna have to go look, but I'm pretty sure I'd just taken out one of their posts. That's how tight it was to get in. Took it as wide as I could. Uh, I'm quite sure I took them out. I think they're gonna move their car now. Someone's car's in the way. I'm going to assume we go left and then sort of reverse back to the right. I'm going to assume that is what we do. Lovely views. How's it going, mate? Is that right? Before you go, mate. Got to tell you, on the way in, I think I've nudged your um, post right. on the right-hand side. Right. I say nudge, I think it's actually over. Oh, is that okay? Yeah, okay. so I just thought I'd let you know. I've got right. to report okay. it. 
Okay. Um, right, I'll get the straps off. Lovely. Like, I could have just lied and not bothered telling them. Maybe got away with it, but what's the point? I hate being called a liar, and I hate liars. And I'm very much of the mindset that if you make a mistake, just own up to it, just admit it, own it. Um, I've always said to my kids, you know, if they ever do anything wrong, if they damage anything, whatever, tell us. Don't lie about it, tell us. Because I think it's more integrity to just tell the truth rather than pretend you didn't damage something. You know, no one's hurt, no one's injured. Yeah, it might cost something to get it fixed, but it might not cost anything. We're going to go check on it in a sec. I'm going to go take a look at it. Oh, hang on, it says no exit. I think, uh, I think everyone else goes out a different way. Do I go out the same way? Possibly. Right, here's the damage. You can see where my tyres went. Yeah, my tyres are running run along here. Lucky the trailer didn't go in to the stream. That could have been catastrophic. Bloody hell. But it was a tight turn. This is a 360 camera, wide angle lens. It probably doesn't do it justice. Swinging in, almost like a 180, almost on yourself. The trailer, the trailer wheels are gonna stay tight all the way along. And you know, they did. That's the trailer wheels here. That's the trailer wheels. There was a post here. That's the post I've knocked. I think they've moved it. It's rotten anyway. Um, I'm lucky the trailer didn't end up in that river. Jesus. Anyway, I'm not sure which way we go out because this is no exit. Do we go out a different way? Arrow. So we go out this way. So we go out a different way, so that's cool. So we can take a nice wide turn here. Can't see this first turn being an issue. He said he's gonna watch me out, I think because I've damaged the gate. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the fence. They're just gonna be careful. Okay, no, it is quite tight on them posts, those flower pots. Okay. Okay, that is, that's gonna be snug. Not a problem. And then I think he said, turn right again. We've got a footpath on the other side of the road, which we will most likely take advantage of to get round. Should be right. Hopefully. Right, we are tipped. Let's jump on in the truck. Right, just been in my sat-nav where we are aiming to park. That's doable. Engine on. Arrive at your destination at 16.13. Let's get on out of here. I don't think I'm going to make that. I've got to take that wider. Got to take that a little bit wider. There is a wheelbarrow somewhere in there behind me. There it is. That's good time, and the rain's just started coming down as well. Now we 
okay forward, but we're just going to wait for him to come because he's going to escort us. Cheers, mate. Right, we've got to take this one very wide, as wide as we can, otherwise the trailer's going to cut in again. It's a bit tight in it. It's doable. It is doable. We're out. Taking some tree with me, but we're out. Stop vehicles going around the other corner. Lovely. Like I said, I'm going to have to go on the other pavement over here just to get round, but not much to be fair. I think he's watching me out on this bit of road, maybe as well, I'm not sure. Lovely, thank you, mate. <laughs> but yeah, it's a bit snug, that one. A bit snug. I want to turn right out of here because we're going to go head towards Dorking and uh, get parked up. I'm hoping to get to BMI Westerham before I need a break. That, <laughs> that rain is really coming down now. That was perfect timing, because we were out in that just now. But yeah, this was the right turn, so I knew it was going to be tight straight away, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be as tight, I think, if you come from the other direction. But never mind, we're out. It didn't cause too much damage, it was just a rotten fence post, which didn't actually serve for anything. Um, but we're lucky the trailer didn't go in that river. Jesus. That was, that was a little bit lucky, that. Anyway, we're going to crack on. And I'll see you when we part up. See you in a bit. Okay, we are just half a mile away from where we plan on parking for tonight. And let's hope there's space because we're on four hours and 11 minutes of driving. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully there's space. It's quite a big lay-by, but... It's going to be uh, whether it's going to be room for us or not. It's just coming up now. I think there's a lot of uh, roadworks happening outside of it, so that's the other option. Uh, sorry, the other thing as well. It might actually be shut, um, which could also also be a problem. Right, I'm going to start the on the left because it's just here. Nothing to say. It's closed. pulling forward ever so slightly when this van moves, I think. Uh, not too bad, we're just going, we're slightly going downhill, that's all. If I go right up to him. I wonder if he's staying there for the night. <laughs> um, yeah, we are ever so slightly facing downhill, so what I need to do you probably won't... Oh. 
It looks, it looks very snug getting out tomorrow morning. The way they put those roadworks. I'm going to take a look at that in a minute. Um, anyway, the truck's facing like that, so we need to lower the back end. As low as it goes. But once this van moves, I'm hoping I can move forward a bit more. That's the aim anyway, park further forward and then we're not on the hill as much. So we're just gonna we're just gonna sit tight here for a moment, see if it moves, and if it does move, we'll um we'll move forward. But it looks to me like getting out tomorrow could be an issue because of all the roadworks put there. Right, we're now recording on my phone. I don't know why, but that van there has decided to park there on the left. I don't think a lorry will actually fit through that gap. So I don't know whether he's staying or not. But anyway, uh, we did move forward. The van moved, we've got another lorry coming in now. So uh, we did move forward. It's not 100% flat, but it is almost. Right, so here'd be the problem. We've parked down there. To get out in the morning, we've got to go right. And again, we've got to do a, full, a 4180 doesn't look too bad on camera but we are definitely gonna have to go all the way over here and jackknife it to get round and then even then the tires are gonna go on the grass that's not the thing I'm worried about the thing I'm worried about is this that will slice open a tire if caught incorrectly this is clearly where tires have gone on other vehicles clearly um, so yeah I'm sort of, there's no one here. I'm half tempted to just move the lights over a little bit to the right because uh, they, don't, they don't need that much room. Not at all. Anyway, the other option is to not turn right out of here. Instead, turn left to go down here, which is where BMI are, where I've delivered to in the past. There is 100% a gate down here, which closes, but I don't know whether it's before or after the turning point. So we're gonna go and have a wonder. Gonna find out. You know, it's also good exercise. You're now trying to get get some weight loss going, so can't hurt, can it? Yep, so the gate is there. I knew there was a gate, but I think there's a turning circle here. I can either turn around in one go or reverse round, and I'm thinking about coming in and doing that and then parking on the left. That's what I'm thinking of doing. I'll also be on the flat ground away from traffic a bit more. Ah, yeah, I can come in here and do a full sweep, 100%. I think I'm gonna do that. I don't see any signs down here to say you can't park here. In fact, there's a sign that says no parking beyond that point. So, I'm taking that is that I could park on this road. Let me know what you think on that. I think I'm going to do that. Yes, I think I am. See, that's what annoys me is when lorries are quite clearly parked on one side of the road, right? And then you get other vehicles that park up on the other side. It just causes unnecessary congestion. Like, what's the point? Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I want to move because who should say they don't dump them cars there and go, go home and do, do, go do something else? And then I'm the one that's getting knocked on in the morning Sorry mate, can you move your truck forward? Like, why should I have to put up that? So, I'm going down there. It'll be quieter, it's flatter, and uh, easier to get out in the morning. Right, I've done it. I've parked on the road. I'm out of the chicane area, because there was, uh, there's over there, there's uh, a sign saying, give way to oncoming vehicles. So I've gone past that. I haven't parked there, like I said I was going to. I've gone slightly further down, and uh, I feel like there's plenty of room for trucks to pass. I mean, they'll, uh, they'll come up from over there and then go past me. I've even put my wing mirror in. But I think that's plenty of space. I think I'm taking up less space on that side than there is remaining on this side. So, I mean, that's the middle of the road there. Look. So I'm, I'm not even over. As far as I'm concerned, that's safe. So, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, I was going to use just 360 footage for this, but I thought it's just quicker to put this on at the end. Oh, last um, hoo-ha, <laughs> I suppose, of parking up. But um, yeah, man, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know whether you do actually like the 360 footage. If you don't like it, we won't use it again. 
I mean, there'd probably be people who do like it. There would probably be people who don't, but we'll see what the majority says. And we'll go from there. I think it's good, you know, I could show you more angles that I couldn't necessarily do in the past. Uh, the audio, you know, does need some work. I'm not sure if I can plug in adapters or not. The only problem with that is then it ruins the 360 experience because you won't be able to zoom in where the adapter is, if that makes sense, because they just see that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. We def definitely need three for trucks for us, 100%. Right, I'm going. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. They're really nice trees. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.